Today, I'm going to talk to you about how you can improve your memory for names. But why do we forget names anyway? Reason number one, we remember things better if they're emotional. Just think up about uh, the things you do remember in your life. Your first kiss, your wedding, uh, your graduation. These things you remember because they were emotional. But there's nothing emotional about the name of a person, you know, Jack, Sam, Nancy, Amir. The names are abstract, they're not emotional. Another reason is because we think we are not good with remembering names. And so when we meet someone new, we say, we are not good with remembering names and we don't make an effort. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. We think we're not gonna remember and we don't make the effort, so obviously we don't remember and we tell ourselves, see, we're not good with remembering names. Another reason is that sometimes we meet a person and we're not sure about the correct spelling of their name. And we don't wanna embarrass ourselves to call someone who is Jean, Joanne, or Jenny, or Gina, or Janet. So we don't even try. We don't try because we're not sure. So what are the solutions? How can we improve our memory for name? Well, the first thing to do is to have a positive attitude. Forget about the self-fulfilling prophecy that you're not good with names. You are good with names. And before you meet someone, start with the attitude, I will remember this person's name no matter what. I'm gonna get a check for $10,000 if I remember this person's name. The second thing is that when you meet someone new, Make it eye contact and be excited to learn something about them. You know, do they speak three languages? Did they just get married? Do you have a new job? Do they have three dogs? Do, you know, something about them. And by uh, learning about them, you put them in the context and you're more likely to remember their name. Then, as they introduce themselves to you, you introduce yourself to them don't expect to have memorized their name. It's okay and it's normal to forget someone's name during the first part of conversation. So don't worry about it. When you are two or three minutes in a conversation, ask them to repeat their name. And don't worry about it. They don't know your name either. So you can just laugh about it. Say, please tell me your name again. And they say, Jack, say, yeah, uh, you know, I'm Majid, right? And then you move on, you make something light of it and you just move on. And make sure that when they say their name that you repeat it so that you pronounce their name exactly the way they see it, they say it. The next thing to do is that as you talk with them, repeat their name. Say, hey Jack, tell me, well, what school do you go to? And by saying their name, you're confirming to yourself that you know the correct pronunciation of their name. You also feel more confident about the fact that this is really the correct name and that you know it for right. Now, sometimes you've talked with someone for 10 minutes and you look at them and say, gosh, I don't remember this person's name. And that's perfectly okay. Ask them one last time to, for them to repeat their name and say it one last time. And again, don't worry about it. They don't know your name either. Now, the final thing to remember is that you need to be 110% sure of someone's name by the time you finish a conversation. So if you're 90% sure, just ask one last time and prove to yourself that if you know this person's name, you will get $100,000 and you wanna get that $100,000, okay? So, if you're interested in uh, practicing names, you can do it at a party. I also have a booklet called Remember Me, and this booklet is available for free on our website, www.notogrow.com slash patienteducation. I hope you try remembering names with a positive attitude.